Okay, I've got an iPhone 6 that will not boot and will not charge. Um, checked for long screw damage. Of course, there is none. Uh, and pulled the board out, and this is what I find. As you can probably tell, somebody has attempted to replace TriStar on this board, and <laughs> that thing is flush with the board. There are no balls under it. Um, no clue what this person was thinking, um, but we're going to fix their mess. Just touch these pads up a little bit. Some of these look like they got a little oxidized, so just make sure they're all good. And then it looked like there was some solder balls squished out over here, so maybe I can touch that up a little bit. That should be good now. Now, when I go to test this, I can show you that it boots. I guess I can show you that it charges too. But I can't actually show you like the USB amp meter that shows that it's pulling correct current. So you're just going to have to trust me. And TriStar on the 6 and 6 Plus always takes way longer for the chip to actually settle than it seems like it should. Give it a little nudge and I see it doesn't just jump back into place immediately. So that means it's not hot enough. Try this again. There we go. All right, let that cool down for a second. We'll see if we can boot it up. I got nothing, no charging.
Let's have a closer look at this tigress. See if somebody's been dicking around with him. Eh. It's not pushed flat against the board, so that's good. TriStar looks like it's installed pretty well. Hmm. Alright. Gonna see what she does on DC power supply. Nothing at all. Still got 0 0.01 on my USB amp meter and no draw at all through DC power supply. So I think we're going to try changing out TriStar. Or um sorry, Tigris. All right, that'll work. this guy on here.
All right, now when I prompt to boot, I actually get normal action out of my DC power supply. So I'll go ahead and hook up the screen. And let's see what happens. Well, there we go. We got it booting. Now we'll just let it boot up and make sure that it is charging correctly. Although I can see that it is charging just under one amp and I believe this battery should be very close to 100%. Um, and once a, once a battery gets up to around 100%, it's gonna start charging slower than normal. Um, and I know you can't see that probably because of the exposure um, on this camera. The light's really low, but the battery's at 94% and it's drawing correct charging current. So this one probably never needed TriStar to begin with. Um, but the person who changed TriStar the first time obviously didn't know what they were doing and didn't know how to troubleshoot properly. So we fixed their bad TriStar, put a new Tigress on, and she's good to go now. So that's another quick video. Thanks for watching.